All right, guys, happy Monday. Appreciate everyone being here. You guys know anyone that's usually here, they ain't here right now. Make sure you text them. We're going to have a special guest today. He's going to be talking about what he does to the cold call. Got over 40 listings this first year. Make sure you guys got a pen and paper. Make sure you guys are ready. Make sure you guys are inviting everyone. You guys are going to want to be here. This is going to be amazing. Love it. All right, guys. So he's getting in here any second now. So happy Monday. I'm excited because just like I treat the first of the month as New Year, I treat Monday as a baby New Year for me. So get to reset, recommit, clear out the energy from the weekend, clear out the energy from last week, cut your losses and focus on your goals, your dreams. And Take massive action. Without massive action, you cannot get anywhere. Um, one of the things that I want to, uh, today we're definitely talking about um, cold calling. Obviously, we'll do some role play. Uh, my good friend, he's joining in. He's a amazing realtor in Las Vegas, Nevada, and he's going to share his secrets as we wait for him. Does anybody have any wins they want to share? Lamel, I know. Oh, Vanessa, do you have a win? I kind of do. It's not a complete win, but I am super excited that I have the opportunity to present um, an investment opportunity to a client. Yay. So yeah, I'm super excited. So um, I had this gentleman that said he had this little teeny tiny property that was valued probably at 140 some thousand, and it was his investment property. So he was getting like 8,600 for the year or something out of it. And in within the same exact conversation, I told him about the Disney thing and I'm hoping something is still available in that, but I told him about that, explained it a little bit, showed him and showing them. And so now, um, sometime today I'm going to be presenting the two opportunities or, you know, what he has currently and what that is. And hopefully these two deals all work out. I love it. I love it. Let me know if you need any help on the back end. We can talk about it and, uh, you know, see if we can make yeah, it. I think I do. Cause I need to have some ideas on, um, how he could finance the remaining amount and things like that. So, um, yeah. Perfect. Love it. Well, without further ado, I see Chris in the house, 4.30 in the morning for him in Las Vegas. Um, and I just want to tell you guys, uh, the first moment I met Chris, uh, I just felt his power, his energy, and there was something behind it. I had to learn more. And uh, he is an amazing producer in Las Vegas, big dreamer. And uh, first year in real estate, he got over 41 deals from cold calling. 41 guys, that is incredible. Depending uh, on your consistency level, um, I wanted to bring him on here. I wanted him to share some of his secrets. I wanted him to practice a, a role play to kind of give you a guideline on what he does. And guys, uh, if you have any questions, put them in the chat so we can uh, answer them as quickly as possible. And uh, Chris, without further ado, take it away. These are amazing people learning to role play, to communicate, which we both know is incredibly important in real estate the floor or the mic is yours i'm moderating like a clubhouse awesome hey what's going on christina appreciate you having me and uh congratulations on having 23 awesome realtors on here in the morning at 7 30 in the morning that's super cool um and yeah like christina said uh super passionate about about real estate i i say that i am in love with real estate and um so happy to be here helping you guys today 
and uh, get up every single morning excited with with fire, just like ready to attack, you know. So um, first year in real estate helped uh, 42 people. First full year in real estate helped three people my first year, actually, in the last couple months of the year. And, um, you know, it's funny. Once you start doing the right thing, uh, things just start happening, right? So people say, hey, it takes 90 days, takes 90 days, takes 90 days to start creating business. Well, uh, after 30 days, uh, shit, my, my, I had a bunch of deals coming in. You know, I had a lot of people that I was able to help, able to serve, able to help them reach their goals. Um, and I did that by doing three things. Number one, uh, being convicted about what I was doing, right? Uh, being confident, number two, that I could actually help people. And number three, actually uh, giving an F about what the heck that they wanted, not just what I wanted, right? When I was the first six months that I was, uh, or three months that I was reaching out to people, nothing happened. I was like, dude, what, what's going on? I think I got my license in August or September. And then all of a sudden, November and December, things started happening. I was like, what's going on, man? I'm calling these people. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Um, and nothing was happening. I wondered why. The second that I was like, dude, I need to care about what these people want more than about me getting some kind of paycheck or whatever. And I need to really be like, dude, I know I can help these people. Uh, even if it's my first year in real estate, um, I was actually flipping houses before that. So I knew some stuff about real estate, but even though it's my first year in real estate, just me actually wanting to help these people get what they want and being serious about, hey, look, I guarantee you I can help you get what you want. Put me ahead of 90% of the people in the business, right? Because 90% of the people in the business are just like, dude, let me get a paycheck. And that's important. Help your families, help your goals, help uh, your life to explode to another level. But once you're like, you you just start listening. Hey, what do these people actually want? You know, how would I feel if I was this person struggling with X? Or how would I feel if I was this person who wanted this for their family? Um, and I understood them. I was able to just be like, well, this is what you want, right? And they're like, well, yeah. Like, Dude, let's go get it. Dude, let me help you. Guarantee I can help you. And um, uh, all of a sudden things started changing, you know, and I wondered why then, but I look back and I'm like, oh, you know, I, I, I was confident in what I was doing and I wanted to help other people. That was it, you know. So right now we're heading into the winter time. Look, a lot of people are backing off. A lot of people are slowing down. Um, I'm actually in California right now picking up a, a car, but Look, uh, blessed and to be here at 4.30 in the morning helping out uh, with you all, with you all talking about real estate. A lot of people are backing off during the summer months. A lot of people are saying, no, oh, you know, business is down 30% and whatever. A lot of people are talking about the economy this year. Dude, I could care less what people are talking about, right? I make my own economy. I make my own decisions. <laughs> no president of the United States ever mattered how well I did in business or for myself or for my family. No president of the United States ever determined like where, where Grant's going, where Christina's going. Someone said the economy's bad. Somebody, somebody in that economy, some, whatever time in history, no matter how bad it was, 2008, the Great Depression, they looked back and they were like, dude, this, this was a huge opportunity. And, and my business took off in 2008. My business took off in 1929. My business took off last year in in 2020 right when covid started right so nobody controls no, nobody controls anything this is an opportunity and if you guys make the decision hey this is the time when i'm going to blow up you're going to blow up if you do the things that you need to do and be the person that you need to be to get to the place where you want to be in in life right is, is any is anybody right now thanks is anybody right now like hey man you know the economy the president, the it's winter time. Maybe I should be taking my foot off the gas. Is anybody thinking that right now in the, in this group? I, I think I'm, I don't, I hope I'm not in one of those groups <laughs> right now. I don't think I am. Um, I'm looking at a couple of questions right now. How do you navigate when they're when their wants, wants are unrealist, unrealistic? Could you share the experience of how you handle people's unrealistic wants? When you cold call? 
yeah, tell them you can help them find their motivation. Um, the motivation is the most important thing, right? And 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 I mean, I, I I might assume you're talking about price or something like that for someone who wants to sell at an unrealistic value. Um, and I'm talking about their motivation. I'm getting the appointment. Hey, guarantee you, I can get you what you want, right? When I when I'm setting the appointment, guarantee I can get you what you want. Hey, I'm going to get your home sold in in 21 days or less. That's what I'm telling people right now. Because the fact is, and, and I'm going to get them what they want. I'm going to get their home sold at the highest price possible in the shortest amount of time. How do I know that? Well, because their home's going to go down $60,000 in the next 60 days. So if I get their home sold in 21 days, I'm saving them an extra $60,000. Mm. Not lying to these people. I'm like, dude, I'm going to get your home sold for the most money possible in 21 days or less right now. Right? I'm doing them a favor. I'm like, I, I need to be convicted in that. You need to be convicted in that because these people's home values, if they're waiting three months, four months, six months and crossing their fingers, like they're going to lose 60 or hundred grand at least in their property value in this, in this, in this economy. Right? So how can you, how you are doing a disservice to them and to yourself, to your families, to their families, to your teams, to your dreams, to their dreams, if you're not letting them know, like, dude, I'm going to get your home sold for the highest price possible, shortest amount of time right now. And I'm going to help you get to, to Africa or wherever they're trying to go, you know? <laughs> um, do you have, do you have any recommendations for um, scripts that you use, uh, like specific questions that you ask to discover their why, their motivation to sell? Um. 100%. Well, I mean, when I'm on the phone, let's say I'm on the phone with, with anybody, it does, let's, let's call it an expired. A lot of people are scared to call expireds. If you can call expireds, you can call anybody. Um, they're like, yeah, I'm not selling. I'm like, okay, great. If you don't mind me asking curious, Hey, why are we even selling this home in the first place, dude? It's a beautiful home, sick home, love the home, love the backyard, sick, whatever. Love it right? Why are you selling this thing anyways, man? Why don't you just stay there and let them say whatever they need to say? I want to know why they were even selling the home in the first place. Some people might be worried about saying something like that because they're like, well, I don't want to convince them to stay in the home. If they want to stay in the home, I want them to stay in the home. But most likely what they're going to tell me is, hey, I want to go to uh, uh, China. <laughs> whatever they want to say, right? California, Nevada. I always say Florida. A lot of people are moving down there to Florida and uh, great. You know, Hey, what was taking you down there? Oh, I have family. Great. What's important to you about that? I love, I love that you're going down there for family. Matter of fact, I'm moving to Florida myself. Great place to go. Right. Why are you going down there? What's important with your grandkids? Okay, great. Hey, what what's important to you about being with your grandkids? I love I love that. Right, that sounds really important. What's important to you about that? And, and let them talk about that. You know, and and once you set uh, the appointment, whether you know they're that we're helping these people get unstuck from where they are. You know, they're stuck on the price from six months ago, and we're helping them move to. Hey, look. I'm going to give you the highest price possible right now. Let's get you over there with you and your family. Number two, look, man, uh, we, we went up on average 24% in home values last year, right? We're still up 10 to 14%. I'm just going to tell them 14%, <laughs> you know? Um, and it, look, if you're, at, if you're at the blackjack table and you put down 100 grand, if you... If you were up 24%, you're like, dude, I'm a, I'm up 24 grand. I'm a beast. You know, if you, if, if you start losing and, and, and it starts reversing and you're still up 14%, are you still ahead? Isn't that still like a great blackjack session, right? You made 14 grand. What if you did that every time you sat down at a blackjack table, you know, you still made four, uh, uh, 14%. Your home value is still 14% higher right now than it was 12 months ago. 16 months ago, no, you're still winning. Dude, let's, let's make sure you don't lose any more of that money. Let's get 
the rest of that money in your pocket for you and your family so you can get where you really want to be, dude. You don't even want to be in this house with these stairs anymore, man. You know, <laughs> you're talking about you've been going up the stairs for the last, how long How long you've been having problem with the stairs for? Has anybody besides me heard a, a thousand people say, uh, you know, I'm selling because I want a one story and I don't want to go up these stairs and my legs hurt, my butt hurts. And, and I'm sad and I'm, and I hate this play. I hate Florida. I hate all these places. Anybody hear these people selling and moving somewhere else because they hate all this stuff. It's like, dude, I don't want you here anymore. <laughs> no. uh, it's like, dude, let's stop going up the, how long you've been having that problem for going up those stairs? How, thanks for sharing that with me, dude. I don't like stairs. I'm 32 years old, dude. You're not old. It's not about you being old. It's about, I don't like stairs either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I agree with you. Like, I call it massive agreement. And how long you been, how long you, have you hated going up those stairs for? I've hated it since I bought this house. I've hated it for the last two years since I had my knee operation. Whatever they're saying, these people are real people and they have real situations in their life. And, and, and it's true, they're stuck. They're like hitting a wall. You're like, dude, you just said that you hate Florida, you hate your life, you hate the stairs. What's, what's the problem, you know? Yeah, I love and, that. Uh, the only way we can help them move forward is by having massive conviction in what we do. They just had a thousand realtors call them. You know, we got to be the person that they're like, why does this guy sound like he's he's going to get it done? Why does this guy guarantee he's going to get it done? You know, I love it. Who did uh, JC put into the chat? Who did you call the that first year on the phones, and how long did you call for? Um. I don't think it matters what I, what I did my first year. I think it matters what it's going to take right now in this economy and, and these times with the shifts in the market to, to get the job done for, for you and your families. Is, is there anybody here that wants to do less than 24 deals in the next 12 months? Or does everybody want to do more than 24 deals in the next however many months, 12 months? How much is 24 deals for somebody, for you and your family, uh, wherever you're from? Wow. Right. I'll tell I'll tell you here, average price point, more or less 400,000, 24 deals is going to be more or less between 200 and $300,000 in someone's pocket here in the Las Vegas area. And if you want to do 24 deals this year, then you, you got to be making 40 contacts a day right? It's going to take you three to four hours every single day. Um, you got to make sure that you're not, uh, you got to like count your potty breaks and your snack breaks and your, you know, and you're the people that interrupt you in the office, the people that walk into your office at home. This is like, this is, this is focus time. You know, people that aren't doing 40 contacts a day, they're not going to be in the business in a couple of years. And people who are, um, all of a sudden, they're going to be like, well, I, I thought I was going to do 40 deals. And I got so good from spending four hours on the phone every single day. I got so good that I did 100 deals. And then there's going to be some people that are like, I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I and I did 24 deals, right? So how would this change you, you and your family's life if, if you if you're making 40 contacts a day? You know, 20 contacts a day could help you get 24, 40 deals a year before. Um, if we we sold 6 million houses last year in the United States, we're going down to 4.5, 4.6. Anybody else heard that? Anybody else heard that statistic? 4.5, 4.6. So we're going down to one out of six right? One, one, six less than before, 15%, 20% less than before. But at the same time, how many people are saying, no, I'm not interested. There's like at least 50% less of people saying they're not interested. So if you're not doubling what you're doing, not only are you not going to maintain your business, uh, you're probably not going to be in business. So double what you're doing to stay, to stay in business and make this look like, or make this good. Hey, great question to 
what for from JC. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, what's up, Shane? Good to see you guys. Hey, follow up. I started doing something recently. I started identifying the people because there's there's so much follow up. You know, like 40 contacts a day. Who's the most serious person? Who's not? Who do I call a month from now? Who do I call seven days from now? I started identifying who are the people who are who sound like if things really made sense, if they believe that I could help them to even get what I'm telling them I can help them get in the first place, who would do something in seven days or less? And, and I have those people separated in the CRM. And I'm just, I'm calling them once a day, twice a day, three times a day until I can get an appointment. I'm texting them, whatever their objections are, uh, whatever their preoccupations are. Like I have objection handlers for all that stuff. I'm texting them, I'm sending them a video. Hey man, totally you know you're I totally know you understand it's the holidays. Uh, I totally know that you're worried about the holidays. I get it. Look, a lot of people are celebrating the holidays right now. And did you know that? And a lot of people don't think it's a good time to sell your home. And that makes sense. Has anyone ever shared with you why the holidays is one of the best time to sell your homes uh, during the year? What, there's at least three reasons that I can share with you. One of those reasons is, look, only the most serious buyers are looking during the holidays. They want to be here with their families. They want to be close with their families. If they're looking at homes, they're super serious and they're paying more money for their home because they want to be here with their grandkids, their kids, their mom, their dad. Number two, they're tired of the cold over in uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, New York. They don't want to be in the cold anymore, man. Look, they're they're serious about moving down here and they're they're closing on homes right now. Those are the most serious people during the year. They're more serious than the people during the summer and they pay more money than people during the summer for the best homes, homes just like yours. And that's real. It's not a lie. It's real. Might have been different than what some of you guys have heard. Um, and then I'm identifying also, so the people who are seven days out or less, and the people who are 30 days out or less, right? We hear, yeah, you know, call me back in two weeks. You know, and, and that's fine. Um, but if they're 30 days out or less, I'm calling them more than that. And I want to get in the door before two weeks is up. And then um, some of those people, look, some of them, they're just not going to sell during the holidays, no matter what the stats are that you give them. But you want to find the people who are. And if you're if you're backing off during the holidays instead of pushing forward during the holidays, then come January, February, March, you're going to have less business. Right. So push into it, push into it during the winter time. Call them the day after Christmas. There's a lot of people that want to see homes ton of people the day after Christmas, the open houses are full, right? I mean, shit, dude, like do a freaking five day listing if you have to. I mean, I, I don't like it, but like it's the day after Christmas, you know, what happens if you get an offer? I mean, who cares, right? Oh, your last realtor didn't get any activity in. Let me show you how much activity I can get between the end of Christmas and New Year's and freaking push people through the door, you know, call all the neighbors. It's free to circle prospect every single neighbor and let them know, Hey dude, your, your, your neighbor, Cindy, dude, she, unfortunately she decided to move here. Hey, who do you know that you actually like that you want to move into your neighborhood, right? What friends, family, whatever do you have? We'll check it out. We're doing an open house next week. We want to see you there. You know, and get people in the door and show this person that, you know, you're the right person to sign with for, for the next six months, right? Does that make sense, everybody? Uh, Chris, Vanessa has a question. Where do you get your names and numbers from? Um, you can get them from a lot of places. I get them from uh, a company called uh, Mojo, Mojo Dialer. It's a dialer. You can dial one line, two lines, three lines, and they'll pull the numbers. You subscribe to the service. It's like hundred bucks, 150 bucks a month or something. And if you just do expireds, you probably, if you're like Las Vegas, you probably have 5,000 numbers that you can pull out of that and just call over and over again. Some people have called over 20 times. And then if you don't have Mojo, if you don't have that ability, you can go to any title company anywhere in, or what you guys don't do title companies, right? 
We do. Oh, you do. Okay, great. You can go do grab a title company and um, uh, get phone numbers from them. Any neighborhood. Tell them what neighborhood you want, what area you want. You want expires, you want FISBOs, and they can get you a, a hand list and you can just dial from your cell phone. I love it. I'm going to jump right into the next question. Shane asked, how do you define a contact? You said you have 40 contacts. What is a contact for you? Uh, I define it as uh, any human being who answered the phone on the other line. And if I, because right, right away, if you guys use Grant Cardone scripts like I do, I'm saying, hi, Christina, this is Chris with Christopher Dunson's office. Good morning. If they say good morning, I'm like, this is probably Christina. <laughs> so if they hang up on me after I start talking about real estate, I'm like, well, I know this is Christina. That's the first step. And I'm likely going to give them a call back. Christina, we got disconnected. <laughs> right. So that's how I define a contact. They say hello. They, they, I know their address now. I know it's their phone number and I know it's Christina. Dude, that, that's a contact for sure. I love it. Do you guys want to do one quick role play before Chris hops off? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, that's a good idea. Yeah, I, I, I love, I've heard Chris role play before. So um, I'd love to, hey, Shane, how about you role play with Shane, uh, with Chris? So you'll be the agent. Yeah, uh, Chris will be the agent and you'll be the, I don't know, expired. Great, let's roll. Um, ring, ring. All right. Hi, Whenever Shane. You're ready. I'm ready. Hi, Shane. This is Chris with uh, Christopher Dunson's office. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. Are you a real estate agent? Dude, I am a real estate agent, man. And I bet you're getting a lot of calls, right? Uh, I think you're number 157 this morning. 157. Well, you, can, you, you count really well. And you know what? This is the last phone call that you actually need to take. Nobody else needs to waste your time. We saw your home came off the market, man. Look, we're serious about helping you get your home sold in 21 days or less reason I'm calling is I, I want to set an appointment with you and make you help your help you make your goals and dreams happen. The reason why you originally put this home for sale. When do you have 20 minutes, just 20 minutes to sit down and actually get your home sold? You're telling me you can sell my house in 21 days in this market. I'll get what we do, Shane, is we help people get their home sold in 21 days or less in this market for the most money possible. If what I'm saying is true, would that be worth 20 minutes of your time, Shane? I mean, absolutely, but I, I don't know if that's possible. I don't think it is. Hey, man, I, I totally get it, and, and some people don't believe what I'm saying, and, and that's fine. Uh, quick question, man. I mean, when when this home sells, where are you going anyways? Well, I, I was uh, planning on moving uh, back up north. I have family up north, but... I'm still stuck on this 21 days thing. Do you think you can get my price to 700 and still sell in 21 days? That doesn't seem that doesn't seem real to me. Yeah, so 700,000 it, it it may or may not be real, man. And look, there's a lot of agents that are going to come up and lie to you and just want to stick a sign in your yard and and you're going to be like, "Dude, you wasted my time." I'm not here to waste your time. I'll give you the most money possible. If it's possible to get the 700, we're going to get you the 700. And I'm going to let you know when we're sitting down at the table. If what I'm saying is true, when would be the best time to get together? Uh, tomorrow or Wednesday at four? Uh, I mean, I got I to gotta think about it. I you know, wasn't really planning on selling anymore considering my house didn't sell. And yet, you know, it's been on the market for five months or whatever didn't sell at 700. So uh, just figured it's not going to sell. Yeah, man. And a lot of people feel the exact same way as you. Uh, curious, what brings you up to New York? Uh, I got family up there. So my family's up there. You know, I'm pretty far away from most of my family. So I'd like to be closer to them. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people want to be closer to their families, man. And, and what family do you have up there? Uh, well, I got my grandparents, uh, mostly all my family, some cousins, my parents, siblings. That's awesome, man. How long you guys you have? How long have you been thinking about being closer to your grandparents, your cousins, and your siblings for? Uh, 
Well, I guess five months when I first decided to put it on the market. <clears throat> okay, about five months. Cool. Well, look, Shane, I'm not here to waste your time. I'm, let me help you get up there where you really want to be with your with your friends and, and your family and your cousins and your grandparents. Um, I got some time in my schedule. Obviously, you got to think about it. Look, I'm a busy agent. Why don't we go ahead and do this? Let's go ahead and put an, a, a, a tentative appointment in your schedule Wednesday at four o'clock. I have time then. I don't want my schedule to fill up and not be able to actually help you. Let's put it in the schedule. If, if anything happens, you go ahead and call me and, and we'll move the appointment to a different day. Otherwise, I'll see you Wednesday at four. Fair enough. Uh, I mean, I got to I got to think about it. I don't even know if I want to meet because I don't even know if I want to sell. Totally get it, man. And I know you got to think about it. And that's exactly why we're putting it in, in the schedule for for Wednesday at four. You can think about if you want to sell. You can think about if uh, if you can even make it. Otherwise, if you can't make it, call me back. We'll figure it out. Otherwise, I'll see you Wednesday at four. Sound good? Yeah, sure. I guess a, a tentative appointment couldn't work. I mean, if you can show me some way you'll magically get my house sold for 700000 in 21 days, I might just have to, you know, I might have to listen to that. But uh, we're serious about helping people here, man. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure that your home gets sold for the most money possible right now in 21 days or less. All right. Yeah. I mean, you know, the thing is, though, that I, I need that money to, to buy the place, at least that I was looking at up north. I don't even know if it's even still on the market up there. I haven't checked in a while, but I need that. Uh, I need a 700 and it's my bottom line. So Perfect. And, and we'll lay out all those numbers for you so that you can feel confident that you're getting the most money and that your plans are still going to work. I'll see you all Wednesday right. before. All right. Well, we'll put it tentative. I got to think about it, but uh, you know, I'm, I don't think it would hurt to just put it on the schedule for right now. Sounds good, Shane. I'll give you I'll give you a call uh, the day before. Make sure we're good to go. Otherwise, I'll see you then. All right. Perfect. Thanks, Chris. Sound good, brother. Have a great day. Bye bye. You too. Bye. That's it. That's it. I'm going to give them a call personally. Some people don't. Some people just show up. That's totally cool. By the way, if they don't answer, I am going to show up. Um, if they cancel, I won't. If they don't answer, I'm going to be at their door. Right. Uh, unless I have somebody else, which sometimes does happen, that says it's more serious about getting their home sold, then then I'll be like, all right, I'm not going to that dude that didn't answer. I'll go hang out with this guy that did answer and wants me to be at his house. But um, I'm just going to set the appointment. What happens when they cancel? When they call me and cancel, when they don't text answer. You, yeah, when they text you and cancel or call you and cancel. Like, do you try to get it back on the schedule? Yeah, I'll get them. I'll give them another phone call. I'll figure it out. But um, the a couple of days before I get there, you can also do it the same day. Sometimes we're doing we do it the same day. Kind of depends on uh, the client and the motivation. We're going to reach out and we're going to do a pre appointment call. And everything that Shane wanted to talk about right now before I set the appointment, I'm going to talk to him about that on the pre appointment call. I'm going to find out. First question I ask is, Hey, Shane. When I come, hey, excited to help you and your family get the most money for your home. We take this very seriously here uh, at the Dunson Group, and we're going to get your home sold for the most money possible in the shortest amount of time. Before I come out, I have a few questions for you. Do you have a couple that are uh, to best prepare to help me to get your home sold? I have a couple questions for you. You have two minutes. Yeah, I do. Okay, great. Cool. So, Shane, hey, look, when I come out today, if what I say makes sense, if what I say makes sense and you feel 100% confident that I can get your home sold, will you be ready to get started with me today when I come out? And if they say no, then I explore it. Okay, cool. You know, tell me more. If everything actually made sense and you felt confident, what would stop you from help uh, getting your putting your home on the market today, right? Or getting started with me today? I say getting started with me. So, um, and I want to know. I want to know, and I'm not going to handle it. If it doesn't sound like they're going to do anything with me, like I said, if I have another potential appointment, I'll go on that instead. But um, I'm not going to handle it. I'm just going to know this is what I'm going to be dealing with at the table. Right. I'm going to ask them other questions um, where they're where they're. Hey, when you we were on the phone, you said you were going to New York, right? 
Cool. And, and remind me again, what brings you up to New York? I want them to confirm again for themselves and for me. Ask more questions about that. I'm going to let them know, hey, um, I'm going to ask them if they're planning on interviewing other agents for the job to uh, get their home sold. And if they say yes, I'm going to try to find out who so that I can talk about the potential person's stats versus mine or my uh, theirs versus my offices or theirs versus entire team or whatever I need to do to say, hey, dude, like you want to work with us. You know, you get 100 people, not just one. You get 1,000 people, not just one. Love it, love it, love it. And, wow. and if they have questions about, you know, buying and, and all this stuff or um, any of that, I'm going to look at the the numbers of 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 uh, what the property is selling for, about what they're going to get in their pocket, how much they owe on the property. I'm going to be asking them, and um, if their motive, if they have a good motivation, but they're stuck on price, I'm going to stick with the appointment. And if they don't have a good motivation and they're they only are talking about price, if I don't go on a lot of appointments, I'm I'm going to be going anyways um for for practice to get good because some people will just uh, list their home anyways but if i'm not able to if they don't have a good motivation and they're super overpriced um and i can tell they're not going to be flexible and i'm not going to make up a story and say they're not going to be flexible in my head that's why you got to go on the appointments first um but like say they're at 700 in their head and and I know that the property is going to not going to sell for more than 550 no matter what I'm I'm going to ask them what their the lowest they're willing to take is on the phone um depending on what they say I may or may not take the appointment and based on their motivation so love it makes love sense it. Yeah, this is amazing, guys. This is, if you loved what Chris has shared with you today, please, yeah, put some fires in the chat. And I know we're a little bit over, we started a little later, but I'm excited to hit the phones, go and attack. Um, go. Yeah, and if you guys want to uh, follow Chris on Instagram, it's just his full name uh, uh, on Instagram. Rock on. Hey, appreciate you having me here today. Uh, anything anybody needs, you can reach out to me, DM me, whatever. I'm happy to help. And you have a rock star right here, Christina, helping you guys out already. I mean, there's there's not a lot of team leaders in, in anywhere in the country that are having 22 people on at 730 in the morning or whatever time, wherever you're at. There's not people doing this stuff, having people like me and whoever else you guys have had on um a support team like grant and elena i mean it's it's stupid the value that you guys get so uh i'm grateful that you're doing this for people christina and helping people like this and uh you guys have a lot of opportunity so take advantage of it it's up to you christina can give you the tools she can have the best person in the universe on here that tells you exactly what to do to do 500 deals this year it's up to you guys so make it happen it's about your future and your life all right Love it. Love it. Thank you, Chris. Thank right, you so great, much. Great, everybody. Appreciate you all. Have a great day. Time to hit the phones.